how can we identify uh, where the chakra energies are blocked? And, you know, I mean, I guess how to take it further, you've already gone to that, the different ways that you can do it. But uh, is there any way we, is it, is illness like a, uh, like an indication that a chakra is blocked? A disease? Illness is one of the indications. See, in, in the, again, that's why I said it will be good if you can one day study all this in detail. There are signs where the chakras are weaker. There are signs where when the chakras are too hyper. And we need to learn to observe these things. And then we will understand to how to identify whether something is weak or something is strong. A simple example, for example, in a physical level, if there is, let's say, obesity, you can understand that maybe the muladhara is too heavy. If there is uh, the opposite, underweight, you know that the muladhara is a bit weak. If somebody is very stubborn with their thinking, they don't change, even if they know that what they are thinking is not right, that is the muladhara is too heavy, it's heavy, it's dark. They're not changing. Or if somebody is not at all fixed on one thing, they keep changing. They don't make any commitment. They keep changing their commitment. It's typical in, in India. When you ask somebody to come for an appointment at five o'clock, they never show up at five o'clock. When you ask somebody to deliver something, they ask them how many days it will take. They say, oh, sir, it will take three days. It is never three days. You take the advertisement for Maggi noodles, two minutes. It's never cooked in two minutes. That's lack of commitment because what you say is not what you're doing. That's a sign that the muladhara is weak. So like that, there are lots of signs and symptoms that show us which chakras are imbalanced. And that is a science that you have to study. Thank you so much, Kausal. Namaste. Namaste.